Joining us now is Jeffrey Perrier, criminal defense lawyer and former prosecutor and former Texas district judge. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So is this illegal? How are you, Dan? Uh, I mean, short answer is no, it's not. There is a statute in the state of Texas that could arguably deal with something like this. It's online impersonation. And at least the black letter of the law is that if somebody uses a phone number, any other identifying information, um, there could be the potential of a criminal offense. Uh, I don't have a crystal ball, but I can't imagine the authorities are waiting to file this criminal complaint. So the call was initiated possibly from Canada and the Vancouver area, apparently received in Texas. Um, does any of that impact the legalities? No. So, Dan, the the law in the state of Texas is if any part of the, the alleged criminal offense takes place in a jurisdiction in uh, assuming that he lives in Austin, in Travis County, then venue could be appropriate in Travis County. Uh, and that's regardless of where uh, Chris lives, the comedian that made this uh, pretty hilarious phone call. Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you one more question. I'm going to ask my team to, to, to queue up the, the, the key part of the call again because I was laughing so hard that I want to be able to hear it again. Um, but um, he, is, uh, he is basically, uh, Alex Jones keeps talking about his intent, right? The comedian's intent, whether sure. it was intended, it, that doesn't matter, right? In terms of, you know, was he intending to be mean, to be mean et cetera, doesn't seem to be particularly relevant. Well, the, the statute, the online impersonation statute, actually, that is an element of the offense, is that the actor, the comedian in this case, would have the intent to harm or defraud the other person. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.